So with Pathpilot, Tormach Pathpilot, <clears throat> normally when you start up the computer, it goes automatically, it bypasses the Linux screen and goes straight into the Tormach Pathpilot software. So what you have to do to get to the Linux GUI screen in order to be able to make any changes to, for example, the INI files. Um, in this case, what we're going to be changing is we're going to be changing the. Let's see, we're going to be changing the parameters for the backlash. We measured the backlash on the mill using our test indicator, and we we also set up the jibs. Um, using our test indicator. We also set up the jibs already. This, all these instructions are in the Tormach manual. We set up the jibs to get the optimal backlash, but now we want to add the backlash comp compensation, which is not in the Tormach manual. So the way to add the backlash compensation is to get into the, I believe it's the INI files on Pathpilot and to, to change those in there. So the first thing to do is to be able to get into the GNOME desktop, because right now we're in the, show the screen. Right now, we're in the Pathpilot software, so we need to be able to see the Linux desktop. So the first thing to do is exit, shut down, and it's going to let it go through the shutdown process because it's showing the it's showing the background screen, but it's still going to shut down. So we can stop and reset the computer with this switch over here. So computer off, computer back on. Now it's just start booting up, and when we get to the Tormach splash screen, hold alternate and shift. Hold alternate and shift, and you'll see the desktop comes up, and then instead of going into the Tormach software, it just comes into the desktop. You can release alternate and shift. So now we're here in the, in the desktop, Linux GNOME desktop, and I've already created a shortcut to my Tormach 1100-3.ini file. You can search for this file. It's in the it's in the folder under Home Operator the version of your Tormach software, of your Pathpilot software, then you go configs, Tormach, and it's somewhere under there. So to find the Tormach underscore 1100-3.ini file, you need to go into your file system, home, operator, and then look for the, the most recent version of uh, Pathpilot that's installed. In this case, it's got version 1.9.13. Expand that. Find the configs. Expand that. Uh, Tormach mil. And we're going to look for Tormach INI. The Torm yeah, the Tormach 1100 3.ini. This one right here. So, what I did is to make a quick access for it, is I put a shortcut to it on the desktop. And then I also put a, um, I also made a folder with a backup. So this is the backup of um, of the one before I made any edits to it. So um, call it original. And every time you make an update to the Tormach software, if you want to keep any of the settings that you have in there, to the update to the Pathpilot software, you're going to need to copy this. Uh, make sure you, before you update it that you copy this um, this INI file that you modified into a separate folder, such that you because it's going to get over oh, probably overwritten by the next software. It's um, it looks like the next software is going to. Is going to create its own folder, so your settings will probably still be in the old in the older folder, but then but the new folder won't have your new your your I and I settings that you created. So here we're going to open this up in the editor, and I'm going to scroll down until I see the something about axes. So here we have axis zero, and axis zero is. I believe the X, I think axis one is the Y, and then axis two is the Z. 
So it's here in the Z, I've already set up a backlash setting for axes two, and it's as easy as writing backlash space equals space and enter your backlash amount, in this case 0 0.0018 inches. So we're gonna do this same thing for um, the X and Y axis. So the first one is the axis zero. So right after the the line that's the line that says um, or the, the 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 part that says 20% higher after the step gen max excel, we're going to put in backlash equals and then whatever backlash you measured. Point zero zero one two is what I measured. We go to axis one, which is the Y, and same thing behind below the twenty percent higher section. Put in backlash equals and then the measurement you took is zero point zero zero one eight. Okay, and now just save this file. Save it. And close. And then to get back into Tormach, just restart. Tormach Pathpilot, restart. And now we're gonna see if the backlash settings worked and how well they worked. If you set your backlash comp compensation to 0 .0018 inches, what happens is um, when, let's, let's imagine this is your, is your backlash space, okay, and if you set the compensation to the full backlash space, so this is like the machine takes this distance to move before it actually starts moving the, or the, sorry, the motor takes this distance to move before it actually starts moving the table, if you set your backlash compensation to that same space, what happens is the machine, the, the motor, moves very quickly and kind of impacts the table and then the table jumps a little bit and then the motor has to move a little bit more later to catch up. So that's the danger of the backlash compensation of not setting it correctly. So what you want to do in our case is you want to set the backlash compensation to be smaller than the actual backlash. So you're removing the majority of it. You're saying, let's say the motor's going to move to, let's say, right here and then it's gonna take a few steps before it touches, the, before it reaches the end of the backlash and then starts to move the table. So you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to reduce the backlash as much as possible, not completely eliminate it, because if you completely elim eliminate it, you create this jarring effect. And we'll see it right here on the dial indicator. So we're gonna set it to zero, and you're gonna see when I, when I go the opposite direction, it's gonna create like a jump. And then it takes, here you can actually hear the steps, I'm going to do that again, the jump, and then I'm going to take one, two, three, four steps before, about three to four steps before it actually starts moving again. So it's like, it's like kind of like hitting the end, making it move, and then it's creating another little gap. So it's, it's like making the, it's kind of making the backlash problem worse, really. It's not helping it again. Jumps and then it takes one, two, three, four, and it starts to move. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna redo this and reduce the backlash um, compensation to a smaller number. Okay, so now we set the backlash to compensation to 0 0.0014 and our measured backlash is 0 0.00 one eight. So it's a little bit smaller, but you'll see what happens is, okay, I'm going to go in one direction and then set to zero and then I'm going to change my direction. Okay, so I change the direction, it jumped just a tiny, tiny little bit, then it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, let's I count, yeah, nine, so ten. So that's 0 .001, and you see how it just 
I wish I'm a little bit, but 